Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. I know it's everything in bloom on the 8th tomorrow, but I wanted to catch this today in case we don't get the light tomorrow so that I can try and capture this with the backlighting. I need to find one that I can uh, <laughs> get underneath and um, also try and focus, obviously. Uh, let's try those there, see if I can focus in on that nice and close. I'm assuming it's in focus, but I can't actually see. Hopefully it is. We've done this before and it seemed to work, so... Uh, so I'm balancing here, practically on one leg. <laughs> it's not easy, to say the least. Anyway, I just wanted to show this. This is, um, you know, it's a once a year event, and um, it's not a bad showing this year. Still quite a lot of buds to come. I mean, there's some spikes are only just sort of starting. Um, so it's gonna be in bloom a nice long time. Got buds all over the place here. I've even got some right up the top on the newer canes, which is unusual. <laughs> um, so it's gonna be in bloom a long time, but it's coming up to the probably the most number at one point. So all these um, larger size buds will be open very soon and what's on there now is going to be there a while because they, they haven't long opened. So um, yeah, Dendrobium Hercoglossum is still one of my best dendrobiums. I've had this a long time. Um, it grows well for me. I don't treat it like it says you should because I feed and water this through the winter and keep it growing. Um, that way the canes just keep growing literally longer and longer I mean these are two-year-old canes they're still growing anyway I just thought I'd uh, quickly show you that in case we don't get any sunshine tomorrow and um, it just doesn't look as good on a on a shadowy day needs that light right see you tomorrow